Hello guys, Asad Yaqub here with a wonderful video on PTE writing task essay writing. Okay, yes, absolutely. So in PTE writing, you have to write an essay of 200 words and they give you topics. Topics are more like problem solution essay topic, opinion essay topic and discussion essay topic. They give you a prompt, a topic and PT is the test where you can use template but very wisely and make sure the template that you use in your PTE writing, that template belongs to you. I mean, you have to create your own template. If you copy a template used by many other PTE candidates in actual exam, then the artificial intelligence examiner will give you low band. It will take it to cramming. So that is why it's a good idea to make your personal template that I will write these type of phrases and sentences. And this is my own template. You may take help from chat GPT as well to create your own template for problem solution essay, for opinion essay and for discussion essay. Well, I give you five tips to deal with essay writing, essay, ta uh, essay task in PTE writing one first understand the prompt prompt is the topic that they give you so you need to understand the topic very very well whatever the topic is you need to understand that okay they are asking me to write the problem and the solution or they are asking me for my suggestions or they are asking me to discuss so you need to read reread and reread the topic as many times as you can Unless, until you understand the topic. Till you get to the topic, you need to read it, but don't waste all the time in reading the topic only, okay? So understanding of the prompt, if you write according to the topic, you will get good score. And if your essay is off the topic, you will not get any good score for that. Plan your essay. Now, what is planning your essay? In essay, there are basically three parts. Introduction, body, and conclusion. So you can plan your essay on the number of paragraphs that you're going to write. You can plan your essays about, we, we also call it brainstorming. So you can brainstorm and you can see what, I'm, what am I going to discuss in this essay, number one. You can also see what will I cover or what is going to be my argument? What are going to be my standpoints in this essay? When I'm going to write, what will be my standpoint and all that stuff, right? So you need to come, uh, you need to plan your essay and you need to come up with all these things. And then you need to develop a cohesive structure. What is a cohesive structure? Number one, number of paragraphs. Number two, within the paragraph, the layout of your paragraph should be according to the standard style. For example, if you are writing introduction, write a general sentence about the topic. Paraphrase the topic. Give your thesis sentence. Thesis sentence is what you're going to do with that essay. When you write body paragraph of your essay, what is the cohesive structure? That is main idea. Explanation of main idea. Relevant example of main idea. Conclusion of that main idea. So this is what you're going to write in the body paragraph of your essay. And this is how you can achieve coherence and all that. So this is a cohesive structure of your essay. Then you can use some connecting words. Moreover, for example, for instance, finally, another point, something like that. Support your ideas with evidence and evidence is what we call example. When you give your ideas, you need to support your ideas with the help of evidence and that evidence is for example. So you can give relevant examples, you can create relevant examples. Whenever you give example, you can use conditional sentences. Try to, use, in your essay, try to mainly use compound sentences. For examples, you can use conditional sentences and this is how your score can improve. Focus on clarity and cohesion. Cohesion is number of paragraphs, proper layout of the essay and clarity means if somebody reads that should be able to understand what is written. The way some people speak English, nobody understands. So the way some people write, people don't understand. Are they clear about the topic? Do they have clarity about the topic or not? So if you have clarity, then there will be clarity in your essay. And finally, proofread and revise your essay. You can edit your essay anytime. You can recheck your essay, right? It is all typing. So you may proofread your essay for any careless mistakes that you may have made while doing this question type, okay? So all the best, guys. There are templates 
for essay writing for PTE, which are available online. But I would advise you not to use any ready-made template. You can make your own template with the help of chat GPT, then modify that and make sure the template that you use in your actual PTE exam, that is your own template. And after that, no one else is going to use that. Okay. All the best. I also teach PTE online all over the world and in campus in Lahore, Pakistan. If you wish to be the part of my PTE classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub wholeheartedly wishes you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.